And right now there are outreach teams driving up and down streets, making sure no one is staying outside in these dangerously cold temperatures. Our Megan Wood spent the day out on the road with those teams. She's live downtown tonight. Uh, Megan, it's pretty elaborate system to try to help people get out of the cold. Devin, Kimberly, it is, and it's much needed. So we were with the team out of uh, the Covenant House, Michigan, and we were with them when they stumbled upon a group of people who uh, were using the transit center behind me here in downtown Detroit as a shelter. So they not only gave these people snacks, hat, gloves to stay warm, they took them to a proper warming center. <laughs> Meet Stephanie Taylor. She leads the outreach program at Covenant House, Michigan. It's a job that takes a lot of heart. We not exempt from being in a homeless situation. And if anything happened to us and we have children or nieces and nephews, you will want an organization to walk up and say, do you need help? She doesn't do it alone. These are my partners here. This team drives around looking for people to help. Hey, how you doing? Not everyone takes them up on their offers. Well, if you need us, I'm glad you're in shelter. They should be able to take good care of you there. But that doesn't stop them from sharing kindness. You're welcome. Have a blessed day. You too. We got our gloves. We got our hats. Just in case they don't trust us to say, uh-uh, I'm through with shelters. I don't want to go back. We can say we're still here. Just just for emergency needs. The Covenant House Michigan focuses their support on ages 13 through 24, but in these conditions, age isn't a factor. If you say you're 25, 26, we're not going to say, oh, we're not going to help you. We're going to say, we know where you can go for shelter and we'll get you there. And to this crew, it doesn't matter how many trips it takes. They're on a mission to make sure no one spends the night in the cold. I'm glad, you know, we able to help, okay? Just a heartwarming experience to be out there with them. But again, it is so cold. And so if you see someone out, you know, sleeping or anything like that, you can reach out to those shelters to get them help, to get them a ride to a warming center. Live in Detroit, I'm Megan Woods, Local 4. Are some really dedicated people there trying to make a difference. All right, Megan.